How's it going guys? Matt the Mechanic here. Gonna bring you another kilowatt video. Uh, today let's go over hall sensor issues. Um, as some of you might have already witnessed or have ran into, um, after doing motor calibrations, uh, your motor doesn't run correctly. Maybe it runs backwards, it's jittering. Either way, it's not going forward correctly. So, what do we do to fix it? Let's dive into it. So, let's start out on a simulated back controller here. We'll just go into setup. Um, currently, uh, this is the main controller page that you're going to be brought to. Um, you're going to want to run Motor Tune or Detection Wizard. Um, select your motor in the list. Once you do select a motor, it will auto-populate the pull values um, and the resistance values for you. So once you do this and it saves, you're going to want to go to Drivetrain. Once in drivetrain, you're going to go to advanced motor parameters. Once in this section, um, you're going to want to verify your um, resistance values. So 37.4, some of you might have like a 42, 3 or 2, um, might be a little bit different. And your pull values, um, stock Sura motors have 5, the KO motors have 4 and you want to keep invert rotation on. Um, this is if you have your phase wires wired up correctly, this will always be on just to make sure that the poles fire in the right direction. Um, again, motor sensor position. Uh, usually it's hull start or full hull on the Sauron motors. And if you scroll down to hull sensor configuration, um, this is what the default uh, hall sector values are um, when the controllers are sent out. Uh, every motor is going to be different. Um, so, for instance, if you do a calibration and your motor starts acting funny, come to this page and um, post a picture of your values up on Discord channel. Um, but normally, if it's so far out of whack, um, you'll have some repeating numbers, uh, you'll have some super high numbers here, um, and it might be off. So, how do we fix this? Uh, you can enter the numbers below. So, negative four, or negative one, four, zero, five, two, three, one, negative one. You can manually enter those numbers below just by uh, clicking on it and entering them. Once you do enter them, you're going to go all the way back to drivetrain and click save and see if that corrects the issue. Now to permanently fix it, what I would recommend is you can take the side cover off of the motor on the hall sensor side, loosen up the three Phillips head screws, um, mark your uh, current position. So you can put a line between the um, electronic plate and the motor itself, just so you have a, a base reference point. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate that um, a little bit in one direction and while you still have the motor cover off you can then come back into the app and run the setup wizard and see if it corrects it um, as you rotate it these values down here in your uh, hall angle uh, your hall offset angle is going to start changing um, nine times out of ten this will correct it um, also, uh, hull errors can come from bent pins if you have dirt in your um, connection and um, or if there's a, a loose wire or like maybe a pin is uh, sticking out and not pushed all the way in. Now your hull sensor uh, connection is in the boot um, right uh, in front of your motor. So that's going to have that's going to house your hull sensor connector. Um, normally your throttle connector is there your uh, kickstand sensor is in there. Um, so you have a bunch of connections in there. So my advice is open that up, make sure all those pins are good. They look healthy and pushed in and then come back in, in here and um, start messing with your hall table um, or rotate your hall sensor until it's corrected. Um, again, if you're still having issues, reach out to your original uh, manufacturer dealer that the controller came from. 
Um, they might have some suggestions for you uh, to help you out along the ways. But um, if that doesn't work, come in here. Let's read the uh, sector values and then you could try those few things. So hope this helps you guys. Um, stay tuned and uh, comment, subscribe and follow along for more tricks on using Kilowatt.